Peace, peace, black family. So one of the most devastating ideologies, one of the most devastating indoctrinations that has been introduced to our community is the idea that love is love and you can't help who you fall in love with. But I can find many examples of black men going to the NFL and the NBA and finding love in average white women. But I cannot find that reverse parallel. I cannot find rich white women finding love in average black men. See, I can find examples of rich black women in the industry marrying white men and being called niggas. And then when they get a divorce, the white man is now retired off of the alimony that he's receiving from his black wife. But I can't find that reverse paradigm. I can't find black women who marry white men who clean their accounts out after their divorce. And I'm sure a lot of you are gonna say, oh, well, guess what? I don't got no money and I still got me a white girl. I'm gonna tell you what a white woman told me one time. She said, I love dating black men because they treat me better than white men do. Black men are nicer when they date me. Black men will work two or three jobs to keep a roof over my head. And these are average white women who think like that. So you're thinking, oh man, my white girl don't want me for nothing because I'm a dude that work at Lowe's. You know, I work two jobs, I ain't got nothing. But look at the white girl that you're dating. What does she have? Is she bringing more to the table than you are? And so then you have black women who will say things like, well, my man can't be racist because he's dating me. We, we perform sexual acts all the time. He lays down me every night. But don't take in consideration that a slave master raped all of his female slaves, even his male slaves. And that Europeans are known for pedophilia and bestiality, which means they don't care where they stick their sexual organ as long as it receives pleasure. These people have been known to do it with fruit. These are the people who introduce sex dolls. So when black people come with the ideology that somehow this person can't be racist or somehow, you know, we, we transcended color and race and love is love, you have to look at it from a social, racial, economical, psychological standpoint. Because if you're just given the illusion that love is love, you're being blinded 100%. And I'm sure a lot of people are, are going to go against this. Because they're going to say, I know a white person, man, they cool as hell. Man, I know some good white people. But I, I, I assert you, or I, I, I implore you, to think when you use the term good white people, to think about what that means. Because their goodness is based off of their evil deeds that they have enacted on African people. The only reason they can be upstanding citizens, the only reason that they can be prominent figures in society is because they have oppressed African people. So their goodness is shaped and written in your blood, in your ancestral blood, period. Anytime a white person is doing anything good for you, it is a form of reparations and disrespect also to your ancestors because they are giving back a percentage of what they took from your ancestors. But getting back on point, because I don't want to get too, you know, out there, because I can get a little, I can get a little out there sometimes. But getting back on point, um, we gotta start looking at things logical. We gotta start, you know, um, really looking into psychological aspects because I've had white women and white men, white men even have told me this, that black women will do anything for a white boy. Anything for a white boy. Man, they would be like, man, you know the, man, I done smutted this black girl out. And I'm talking about these are average hotel working, bussers. I'm talking about fucking valet white dudes. You see? Black women will lower their standards to date a motherfucking white boy that's a valet But want a black man to be on top of his game Even though he is oppressed By That white man Okay And let me also say this too 
When black women look at black men and say, you niggas ain't shit. And then you turn around and date the man or the race of people who made niggas that ain't shit. That's a disrespect. Because this white man has been at war with your grandfather, your great great grandfather, your father, and even going to be at war with your child. But the fact that you are dating the person that who has caused the, the strife and the disconnection in the black community is disrespectful in itself. But there's a lot of paradigms, a lot of things I could bring into, you know. But I'm just saying love is not love. And I need black people to start looking at things honestly, logically, psychologically, socially, racially, and economically. But I get it. A lot of us have been so brainwashed that the things that I say come off as hate. But I'm going I'm to I'm 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 implore you to really look at it from an honest perspective. 